Hey y'all, real quickly today, it's called inequalities. Well, inequality means, you know, something's equal. We, we use an equal sign, right? Okay, inequalities means we're messing with stuff that's not equal to each other. Now you, you've seen these top three, what does this mean? That means not equal to, right? You know what this one is, right? Less than, okay, and this is greater than. Now if you remember, there's an alligator that over here eats the shark that swallows the bear on this side, and the bear is eating the radish that looks, you know, I don't forget the whole thing. Just try to remember less than or, or greater than, all right? Look at this thing right here. What's this mean and what's that mean? Okay, this was less than or equal to. In other words, it, it, it could be both. This one is greater than or equal to, which means it could be both. Like some numbers that are less than or equal to five, mm, five. So another, another number that's less than or equal to five, I mean, anything below five, four, four point nine, 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 nine. That's also less than or equal to. You can't say 5.01 because that's not less than or equal to five. So just a lot easier to do that than to write, to write two, you know, like an equal sign with two of those little parallel ones. So, all right, you tell me, what's the answer to this question? Let's say you have two numbers in a number line, all right? Even if you, it's a completely non-labeled number line, there's a number, there's a number, and then there's a number right there. Which one's greater? We know this one's greater, right? Because it's to the right of a number line, all right? Just keep that in mind when we're doing this, okay? And let's go ahead. What you can do is <clears throat> on these, um, and you can pause and copy, but don't draw complicated <clears throat> number lines like this with all this jazz on it. Okay, when it says draw a number line and graph x is greater than 2, all you need to do is do this. Go, there's my number line, there's a 2. Don't make anything more complicated than that. I mean, don't, I want to very carefully, I had a kid in my classes years ago that had to take a ruler and every oh, quarter inch, he was going to make a beautiful line and, uh, you know, I, it's, you know, it's a very useful skill, I guess. He just, he took a lot of time to do this, but anyway, he's, Actually, you know, did pretty well. Um, he's going to get out of the asylum, I think, in 20, uh, well, in six or seven years. But anyway, so, yeah, don't take too much time doing this. Just do that and be done with it. Make these problems in your problem set the ones that you go 15 seconds and you're done and on to the next one. So, okay, graph the solution of x is greater than 2. Okay, this is what you want to do. You know that it's going to include everything on this number line to the right of 2, okay? And it's not going to include two. So what we do is we put a, a, a like a little circle that's not a, not a closed end to indicate we don't include two. Then we just go like this, everything to the right. Simple as you can do it. All right, let's do another one. Graph the solution of x is less than or equal to two. Now this time, it looks like that, and there's your two. Again, make it as fast as you can. Less than or equal to two, well, it's going to include everything to the, to the left side, right? Because that's equal. I mean, excuse me, that's less than. You are also, this time, because it says it, it can also equal to, in other words, you're doing some experiment. You're, you're in chemistry, or biology, or you're, you're working with computer chips, and you figure out that you can use, I, I can use up to two, but not, not, not any more than that. Okay, the way you indicate that is you put a filled in line that indicates you could include two. So the person looks at that and goes, oh, I can include two, and everything less than two, I, I got it. All right, here's another one. Let's go backwards. I'm gonna, this, they're gonna give you the drawing, and then you tell me what, what does this describe? Well, don't even think about it at first. You can just go at x, you can just go negative three. You know those two numbers are gonna be involved in this, all right? So first off, you know it's gonna be less than, right? Okay, now does it include negative three? No, right, because it's an open circle, so just leave it, x is less than negative three, that's all. All right, try a and b, all right? Back, try them both, pause it, come back and see what you get. Okay, let's take a look at A. X is less than or equal to 5. Well, we're going this way from 5, right? Like that to the left. Since it's equal to 5, we're going to fill this thing in like that. And there you go. Okay? If you need to pause it, go ahead and pause it for B. Okay, B, don't I mean, train yourself to do this very quickly. I got an X. Oh, I got a 4. Now, what is this? Uh, everything greater than 4. That's what we're clear. Oh, so greater than 4. Does it include 4? No, it does not because it's an open circle. So that is the entire inequality that describes that graph. So anyway, okay, that fast enough for you? All right, see you guys next time. Have a great day.